Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this tissue box, which is for mini tissues. So there's four boxes on each side here. That's all optional. And then there's one tissue box in the middle. This one in the middle you access from the bottom and that will hold two packs of, if I just show you, these here. OK, so you could just have that one and maybe one of the boxes. Or if you want to do it like me, then I've made four extra boxes which are stuck on each side and they all hold a refill. So there's more tissues in there, but you could maybe just have two with tissues in and then two with some treats in. It's entirely up to you. It's really easy. And I just thought it was a nice way to use the mini tissues. I already have a tutorial to show you how to just decorate the larger tissue box. And I will have that linked up here. And I think that's the only tutorial I've done for tissues, but I thought this was quite sweet. These boxes on their own are really nice. I think they're great kind of stocking stuffer size um, and just nice just to put one of the little tissue packs. Maybe you're putting together a little hamper, which is kind of what I'm doing. So that's why I've done this one here, but this is going with a lot of other things that you'll see me making over the course of the next two weeks. And I will finish that with the hamper and all of the projects together. So you can and see how they all look so it's very straightforward to make so let's get started so i'm using the heart dies from creative craft products the ovals are from the card making magic but the this brand the creative craft products also have the oval ones as well because i don't believe these ones are available anymore and then i'm using the scent with love papers again i've got a punch there as well and then one of the little tissue boxes here already made up so to make the tissue box I'll do the internal box in a moment because not everybody's going to want that one okay so you'll want two pieces if you're going to do exactly what I'm doing you might just want to make the little box on its own because it's quite sweet I think make a nice little stocking stuffer you could add a little handle onto it as well so it looks like a little handbag so this is a piece of six by eight and a half along the eight and a half side you want to score at two three and then five and a quarter and six and a quarter. And then rotate it so you've got the six inch side and you're gonna score at one and five. Okay, and then you wanna fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, so with this piece, you'll have one side that's got that two and a quarter piece and then one that's got the two. The two inch is gonna be the flap. So if you bring up your two and a quarter and wrap everything around, You'll see when that one comes over, you've got that quarter inch gap there. OK, so if you want, mark that with top and then it will make it a bit easier for me to explain or for you guys to understand how I'm working. So that there is this end here, this little closure. So with that on my right hand side, I'm going to cut up these score lines, just the first one. So just these two here, just to free up that little square piece and just rotate and do the same. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut a little wedge off of those side pieces. And then I'm gonna come now to the top and I'm gonna cut all the way down past that first score line and down to the second. Okay, so you've got the rectangle and the square. But you just wanna cut away the rectangle so you've got this square now free and then again all the way down and then just remove like so and then again i'm just going to cut a little wedge off of all the sides okay so we should have something like this and then with this end here grab yourself a ruler so i'm going to come down three quarters and just mark with a pencil on each side there and then you're going to mark the middle, which is two inches. OK, now, if you want to use a trimmer, then you can do. But I'm just going to cut from that middle up to the three quarters like so. And then again on that side and then just rub out those pencil marks. OK, so if I just lay that there, you can take a screenshot if you need to. But you can see how everything's going to work. So while I've still got the scoreboard out, we'll go back to that and construct it in a moment. I'm just going to talk you through the internal box. OK, so this piece here is 12 by 5 and 1 eighth. Along the 12 inch side, you're going to score at 4, 5 and 7 eighths. 
nine and seven eighths and at 11 and three quarters okay and then along the five and one eighths you're going to score at half an inch two and three eighths and four and five eighths fold and burnish all those score lines now when we cut this one you need to make sure that you've got your one and seven inch section towards the bottom and your two and a quarter section so just ignore the half inch tabs just focus on these two parts here this one is one and seven eighths and this one is two and a quarter have the two and the quarter one at the top this is the side of the box this is the base of the box and then this is the top kind of flap to attach this piece which is where we're going to cut our um, opening to pull the tissues out of so you want to cut up all of these score lines you go in past the first score line and up to the second on all those sections and this last one here as well and then what you can do here is just cut that piece away completely okay so you've got something like that so now you can see when we bring this all round a quarter inch tab like so you want to decide which side you want to be your opening so I'm going to take the left okay so when I open that up what I want to now do is cut away this end piece here this whole piece we can snip away and then we can take away the end pieces there and there and then I'm not going to cut anything off of these yet because again, we, I always say this one, when you make a box with a lip lid closure, you want it to be nice and tight when it closes. So we'll leave those for the minute because we can come back to that later. So now flip it around and you'll have a little rectangle in the corner here. Just cut that away and just take a little wedge off of the sides and then just cut down all of these just to the first score line. So what we want to do with these pieces is make a little ledge that we can then attach this piece on top of, okay? What we can now do is stick this together. So I'm just going to grab my quick grab glue and just run that just down that little tab. Fold that down and then fold that one over and fold it that way as well. Okay. So this box is going to open from the bottom. So you just want to close this. Now you want it to be nice and snug. If it's too tight, then you can take a bit off. But I think that's going to be fine. You don't want it to fall out. The tissues are going to sit on top of that. So I'm going to keep that as it is because it's easy to you know, be able to access. Now I want to stick all of these down. But before I do so, I want to make sure that that opening... Yeah, that's okay. I thought it might have gone into these tabs here but it doesn't so that's okay so we'll go to that in a minute so I'm just gonna pop some glue in all these corners and just stick that down so I'm gonna flip it back over open this up and just get in there with my ruler just to secure that all down and then just gonna pop some of my tissues in I think it will get two in quite nicely and then close that all back up again. Then cut this piece, which is one and seven eighths by four. And I've stuck a piece of pattern paper on, which is one and five eighths by three and three quarters. This is the one I now want to cut my little opening in. Now I've already cut these two together to give me a decorative border. So I'm just going to take that away. Okay. So with this one here, I'll just give you a rough measurement. So you're looking at two and seven eighths by about just over three quarters. The cut line's probably on three quarters wide, okay? And I'm going to place that one down in the centre there, where it's best as. And then just tack that in place and get that die cut. And then you can just leave it with that if you don't want to do a border. But you can see how that's going to sit over there. I'm going to stick this one on. I know my nan. 
And my nan loves the sparkle, so I sure appreciate the glitter. Okay, just let that one stick. Like so. And what I'm actually going to do is take that all back out again. <laughs> because it's going to be easier for me to attach this without all of those tissues in there. Plus, I've got a little bit that's just lifted there. So let's just add some glue to that. Now I'm going to use the construction glue for this because I want it to be nice and strong. So I'm going to add my glue on all of those tabs and just place that one down over the top. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that to dry. What we'll do is we'll go back to this box and then by the time I've done this, that should all be ready to stick it together. So with this one here, you want to add some glue to these two squares and just bring it up and stick it behind the middle section I'll just show you there okay so I've just brought it up into that one so again just bring it up so that that one can stick over the top and then I'm going to use my stronger glue just to start to add a little bit of strength to the sides And then you're going to bring them inside there. You could stick them over the top as well if you want. It's up to you. Put that one under there. Okay. And then I've got this piece here to decorate the front. So this is three and three quarters by two. That's not going to go there. And then I've got these three pieces. So for the side, you want two pieces of three quarters by two. And then for the top, this is three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm going to stick all of those down. OK, and then to decorate this piece here, this is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. If you flip it over and then on the sides or the top and I've already done it on this one, actually on the top left and the top right, you want to come down five eighths of an inch. And just mark with a pencil and then mark the middle which is one and seven eighths just here and then just cut across again and that will just give you your layer to stick on top so just pop the tissues back in and pull that through now if you want to decorate this maybe you just want to make this on its own then you'll want to cut two pieces of three and three quarter by two and then two pieces of one and five eighths by two. OK, to decorate them. Now, what I'm going to be doing is sticking this one on the side here and this one on the side here. So let's just pop another. Actually, before I do that, I've just got my finger pull here. So I'm just going to punch that in the middle. Add another one of my tissues. And I need to add my hook and loop actually as well. So let's just grab these ones there and then just close that up. just make sure they're all secure okay so that is now going to stick on that side like so so then we got our little refills and then for the sides here I've got these two pieces which are one and five eighths by two. And then I've got these little glittery hearts, which are going to go on the tops there. OK, so I've stuck those two either side. I think it looks very, very sweet. But I had so many of these little tissues left over that I've made two more and I'm going to stick them on the end here. So now there are four boxes with the refills and then the middle box, which you can still access. If I just flip it over, you'll still be able to access it. What I'm going to do is pop a little little tab on there and I'll show you that in a moment. But I mean, I just want to show you that's why I've stopped at this point, just so you can see how it looks with just the two. But then if you just push those onto the side 
I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to now add my glue. So I'm not going to need those ones. That's OK. So they were only a little bit of scrap, but I'm going to add my glue now all over this side. OK, so that's all secure. So now I'm just going to get into this. And I'm going to add what I've done is I've just cut this little piece here, which is half an inch by half an inch by one and just score at halfway. So at half an inch again, and then I've just added my glue there and I'm going to stick it just in the middle of that tab. So this hangs out. So it's not going to, you know, create any bulk on the bottom. So it kind of rocks or anything, but it's enough there just to pull that. So now I can just pop that one back in like so but now you can easily open that okay and there you have it you can see it doesn't you know make any difference to the base at all i'm just going to cut two more little hearts so they're the same as that and then i'm done so you've got all of your little refills there and then there's two packs worth of tissues in the middle you've got your pull tab there which you can see just opens and then you can fill all of those up and you i mean you know you could just have tissues in the middle and then you could add treats and stuff in all of these little side ones but i think it's really sweet something a little bit different and like i said once it's with all of the other bits that i'm making i think it's going to look quite sweet so i hope you've enjoyed this tissue box idea from me today or just the boxes on their own they're all quite sweet and handy sizes i will link other similar tutorials now i've got the other tissue box tutorial as well for the for that larger size box so as always thank you for watching today i really do appreciate it and i'll be back again very soon take care bye